No, sweetie. You've had this every night this week. But it's for the canned food drive. No. The answer is no. Okay guys, so what I'm going to be showing you is how to do the mini cinnamon rolls. Um, I've tried this a few different ways, so I think I finally got it down. So basically they have to be this small size because we're serving these in the dedication. So what you're going to see me doing here, obviously I'm flowering my board because I'm going to be rolling this out. Now, in the few times that I've tested this, the thinner I've got it, the better. So when I say thin, I'm looking for probably about an eighth of an inch. Eighth of an inch to at max a fourth of an inch. You're wanting this pretty thin. So don't be afraid to really kind of get it thinner than you might think you want it. Also, make sure you're always rotating your dough to try to get a rectangle. We're going to trim it up, but still, the less you have to trim off, the less you have to worry about later. Um, Always remember too with this kind of dough, I've already had this dough made, but with the dough you really want to make sure that you, when you're, you can stretch it out by hand. It doesn't have to just be with a rolling pin. If you need to stretch it out by hand to get a better shape, you can. Just make sure you don't rip it. So I'm cutting it, I'm cutting, trimming the edges off right here. Um, making sure I get, I'm measuring out about a four inch strip. That's what you're seeing right there. It's about a four inch strip wide and then I'm buttering it so when I'm buttering it and I'm putting the filling on you can notice at that top section I am not putting anything there's no butter there's no cinnamon roll filling I'm using that as a seam so that it'll stay together when I actually bake it off so instead of mixing the butter with the brown sugar and the cinnamon I've just put melted butter onto the dough and then I have brown sugar and cinnamon mixed and I'm just topping it with it I found that it works a bit better that way so you're gonna to wanna to trim off your edges cause those are just not, it's not very good. So just trim off the edges and toss those aside. And then when I start making my cuts for my cinnamon rolls, I'm cutting them about three quarters of an inch to a half an inch um, thick. And remember they're gonna puff up and they're gonna rise when you cook them. So they're, they actually do almost double in volume a little bit. So they, they cook pretty tall. Make sure all your cuts are uniform. Make sure you're going down. Now to do this efficiently, I would cut and roll all of your cinnamon rolls first and then cut them into the little portions. So if you notice when I'm putting them in here, all the seams are touching another cinnamon roll so that when they bake, they don't unravel. You wanna make sure you're aligning them in your pan like this. Also make sure you grease your pan.